we have to start with this tonight. Riff Watchers sold out in officially one minute, according to Splinterlands. Uh, pretty big deal of 500,000 packs in a minute, and that's also 500,000 uh, vouchers taken right there and uh, SPS given to the Dow. So, Infidel, first of all, what what did the pre-sale at Seed or, or meet your expectations did you and kind of what did what did you get? You know what what was your uh, entry today? Today was a wild one, like you guys were alluding to. I mean, um, I took the I logged in and did like a live uh, while before I went live before the sale took place, and me and Jim Morgan were on the channel on YouTube and just covering it for a couple hours and just watching those packs disappear in forty five seconds or something like that. I, I got 250 uh, Rift Watcher packs and I don't know about you guys, but I made, I'm one of those people that made that error where I didn't use the vouchers because the screen was happening so fast and I just knew I had to get that pro that order through. Yeah. So um, I had the vouchers and I've, I've submitted a ticket since if anybody's out lis listening, you, you can submit a ticket if you bought Rift Watcher packs and in, in that pre-sale period and you didn't submit vouchers, like you didn't commit them you and you had them, they can check into that now retroactively and they're willing to do that. You have to submit a ticket. Um, so go to, there's a support uh, window in the Discord. But yeah, that was wild. And then, um, man, uh, no, it's just, that kind of really blew me away. How once the appetite, once the window for opportunity on the Rift Watchers promo card disappeared, the to see that energy just overflow into what was going on with the nodes and wow that one really surprised me just every time you refresh the page another 50 or 100 were, were sold craziness yeah it, the it, nodes were sick it was pretty that part was definitely intense i i had actually i bought one 150 i did we also were streaming live uh during you know we were only on for maybe 45 minutes prior or something half hour prior um but we were live for the actual drop and uh yeah i mean i felt that that anxiety as far as like oh am i even going to get this in in time mm. i did correct it but i only bought 150 packs i wasn't i wasn't in this like super high stress like mm -hmm. you know i decided i wasn't going to go huge on this um mm -hmm. i want to get some rooney um me too. by the way i f i found out rooney is both plural and singular r-u-n-i mm. um uh, and uh that that was something i actually just found out but yeah so uh i remember seeing before i left to to, to hoop a little bit play basketball that it was 108 seconds and so the first 36 blocks does that sound right was that the final um i didn't see the exact but... like you said minute 49 to be exact okay um, so yeah honest, that's not shocky yeah i i remember it as 100 uh, uh 108 seconds so that sounds about right um true says 138 somewhere in there i my i got mine in at 127 so either way either way you're good sh ship the whatever whatever i win how do you three, check three, to promo, see, three promo cards how do you check to see that uh I checked in like the activity page of uh, on in the game on Splinterlands. Oh, good call. Yeah, and there's um, you can search like oh, I had to look this up through Discord, but if you go to the support ticket, there's actually somebody was explaining. It's like you can see all that data. You can see every transaction on your account, and I was able to find the transaction where I bought them because I needed to give that information to Splinterlands. I didn't. I, I now that I'm, I'm really curious where I was in that window because I didn't really take note. Um, but, um, but I, but I got them. I, I'm, I've been assured. And uh, the other thing that Aggie said, he, he went back on to the town hall area to field some questions afterwards. Um, was that if you were, if you didn't make it into that, into the bonus area for the promo card, mm -hmm. and you're only like within a couple minutes after. And you, you know, you're upset about it. You are, you can put in a request for a refund mm. for what you bought. Um, and that can be, I mean, you're only going to receive what exactly what you put in. So do, it doesn't matter what the price of stuff is now. It's, you're going to get exactly what you put in as far as the number of those things. Like you've put in 10,000 SPS, you're getting 10,000 SPS back. Mm -hmm. But that, that was, that's only for like within the first couple minutes after the fact. 
And like you said, if you miss, if you didn't put that number in for vouchers, they will honor that missing amount that it didn't auto put in. Uh, because if you put in a hundred packs, you should have 10. And that part would show if you pressed a hundred, but then if you changed it to like 150, it didn't add the next five packs automatically and you had to manually do that. So a lot of people didn't do that. Yeah. And that, that actually probably cost a lot of people on exact calculations that next level of card by that many packs. Yeah. So that's cool that they, they're doing it that way. I think that's pretty fair without really messing up the numbers too much as far as just letting everybody who, who bought a, like an extra hundred thousand packs in, uh, you know, that seems, that seems like a reasonable. Yeah. It's, it's probably a lot, honestly, it's a lot of work that they are going through to sort of honor that. So I hope people, including myself are acknowledging and recognizing that they could easily tell you to pound sand. Like, you know, you didn't put your vouchers in. you read the, read the fine print. Um, and I feel like, you know, any other major company, Blizzard, you know, and Google would just be like, what are you talking about? You want sure. like, me to send you, you want me to go through all this work because you <laughs> messed up? Um, right. And that's me, right? Like I messed up. So I'm trying to own that personally. And hopefully, you know, when we talk to the Splinter Lines people, we're super patient and appreciative of that. Uh, absolutely. I, I definitely agree with that. And I, I, if I didn't make it in time for the promo card, I was still going to buy those 150 packs. And just, you know, I w really wasn't. You know, I was so crazy. I definitely didn't expect it to sell out so quick, but mm -hmm. you know, it's pretty awesome that it did. And and mm -hmm. really, those nodes flying like we bought. So I bought a node right after the pack sale while we were still on air. And I definitely thought when I'd come back from basketball, like if I wanted to buy another one in Trench One, that there would still be that open open opportunity. But sure mm -hmm. enough, I, I came back and that was locked out. Yeah. Um, so I was glad I picked up that one anyway. So. How many, the price, how, the, how the many price now, oh, I've got, th I picked up three nodes. Okay. Um, I'm looking at the window now though. And on my, on my end, I'm seeing that they, somebody's bought one of the higher node prices, probably, that. probably almost just, I would think out of like confusion, I bet. Cause that's such a big price increase. It's go, it's, it was 38,000, uh, SPS or when I bought it like two days ago, it was, I had to pay 18,000 SPS plus 500 vouchers. Um, and now it's 55,000 SPS or, you know, you can imagine 500 Twice, vouchers yeah. and, yeah. and 30,000 ish or something like that. That's so much SPS guys. So much. I, I agree. And, and sadly they were, there's some cheaper listed on hive engine right now as well. So another mistake on top of, you know, or at least a, a mistake in that regard as well. Hmm. They're pretty yeah. close though. They're pretty close, but it's a couple hundred bucks, I think. Yeah, interesting. I, mean, still, I looked yeah. at it too, and I was I was doing the math in my accounts, and I was trying to look, and I was like, "That's gonna, that's gonna empty the the pockets if I do that." And I'm like, mm -hmm. "That that would eliminate me from everything else." Did you guys see how many SPS? There's sixty two million two hundred twelve thousand SPS burned from the node license sale alone. Burned, not not like stored away for later. Burned. 62 million and then the sps to the dow from the node sale is 15.5 million um that like right now that's seven or eight cents times each sps but one day i think that's going to be a dollar each yeah. and we're going to be like wait a second we burn 62 million dollars mm -hmm. we we burn we put in 15 15 million dollars into the dow for node we, sales we paid twenty thousand dollars for a node yeah <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah and to put that in perspective 62 million is about uh seven percent of the total sps out there i think wow so crazy you know, there's about 900 million out there right now so 60 62 million you know 90 million would have been 10 percent. so mm -hmm. you know 6.6 .6 to seven percent somewhere in there burned forever Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you want more Splinterlands content, just keep watching these videos. We got a lot of it. We drop a video a day. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.